Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia. And if you are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn notifications on, and while you're down there, give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today, we're talking about POT, which is postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. I've been diagnosed with this for a few years now, and I've never made a video on this, so I thought I would make one. I did get questions for this, but I think today I'm just going to do an educational video on it and then I'll do another video at some point answering questions on it. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So POTS isn't a heart condition. Yes, it affects your heart rate, but it isn't a heart condition. Some symptoms that I get personally with POTS is blood pooling in my feet. My feet turn purple when I stand up. Digestion issues. The next one is fatigue. Now I struggle with this a lot and anyone who knows me knows I have to have a nap in the afternoon because I can't keep going. I get too tired and I just feel really worn out which is why I spend a lot of my day in bed or having a bath because I, I don't have to stand up in the bath that's why I have baths it's it's definitely exhausting now Alana if you don't know who Alana is this is Alana um, she makes videos she made a video talking about chronic fatigue like a day in the life of chronic fatigue and it was really educational and I want to share it with you so I'll link it on the iCard up there. Now for me the fatigue isn't cr it's not chronic fatigue syndrome. I don't have CF and I never have and I'm grateful for that because honestly it sounds like a living nightmare but I do get fatigued and that's because of my pot and I basically have to have a nap every afternoon which is going to be fun this afternoon because I've got an appointment at my GP at 2.15 which is usually about the time I'd have my nap so that's going to be fun. Symptom is dizziness so dizziness when standing so it's dizziness when standing up and lightheadedness. Now I, I'm guilty of this I, I don't take my time when I'm getting up because usually it's either I've ordered food and it's downstairs waiting for me or I need to take my medication fuck let me rush down very very bad <laughs> I should never rush to get up and I'll come on to this in a bit but I stand up like I just get up I don't take my time I, like by sitting down first or waiting a minute I shoot up and every time I do that I get really lightheaded like now I'm really lightheaded hold on the next one is fainting now I fainted on camera about four years ago five years ago when I lived in Kingston um, I was recording a video and I got really faint. I got really lightheaded. And I knew I was going down, so I was like, oh, I'm going down. And the last symptom is shortness of breath. Now, I get out of breath quite easily. I am asthmatic, so I do have that going for me. Being asthmatic with POTS is a nightmare. So shortness of breath is something that occurs because you stand up fast so you get lightheaded, you get dizzy, then you start breathing fast and then when you stop breathing fast you are out of breath and it is a nightmare. There are obviously more symptoms than this, I don't want to read them, I'm not going to read them all out because I'll be here until Christmas. Um, but these are some of the symptoms that I experience on a daily basis. So I thought I'd yeah, share what I experienced because this is a video, I'm not a professional, I should have said this at the start, I'm not a professional, I'm not training to be a professional, please don't take this as professional advice, if you're concerned you have POTS, go see your GP, 
or a smaller specialist depending where you live and yeah now treatment compression socks now i don't personally wear compression socks because i hate wearing socks so i don't personally wear compression socks because i don't like the feeling of socks on my feet autistic thing sorry drink plenty of water avoid triggers such as heat and the last one is medication personally i take bisoprolol to lower my heart rate because my heart rate is ridiculous even on bisoprolol my heart rate is still high but it's better than it was so there is that going for me now for some do's and don'ts so let's start with the do's Try to avoid try to avoid things that trigger your symptoms. Drink plenty of fluid. Try gentle exercises such as walking, pilates and swimming. Raise your head or raise the head of your bed so you're not lying completely flat. So as you can see I've got a pillow there. It just raises my head a little bit, so it's not I'm, not I'm not lying completely flat. The don'ts, not all, stand for too long. Do not get up too quickly from lying down. Sit for a while before standing up. Do not drink too much caffeine or alcohol. Now I am guilty of this. I drink a lot of caffeine, which you probably know if you followed me for a while. I don't really drink energy drinks that often but i do drink i do drink a lot of coca-cola zero diabetic have to have the zero though i do have some sugary lemonade and harry bow in my cupboard good diabetic i swear but honestly it's just pots is a complicated disorder syndrome sorry not disorder it's a syndrome POTS is a big part of my life because it affects so many different things like I said when I stand too quickly my feet turn purple so that's fun matches my hair but yeah thank you for watching and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button turn notifications on and if you haven't seen my last video I'll link it on the iCard up there. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace!